How would you like to decorate for Halloween using things you already have laying around? Kelly Snyder from the Kansas City Mamas is back on Casey Live to show you how to get your scary on and all on a budget, which Absolutely. we love to save money. Sure. And Halloween's really a hot time to decorate. Really popular. It's number two decorating season behind Christmas. And so that's crazy to me and exciting. So, I mean, people love to decorate for Halloween. So it's kind of, but I do think you're either one family or the other. You're a Christmas family or you're a Halloween family. Now, are you for decorating for the just that one day or having your Halloween stuff up from now until Halloween? I think most people started October 1st, to be quite honest. So as soon as like it hit October, they were like on it to decorate <laughs> for Halloween. So my kids were so excited to get all the Halloween stuff out. Oh, yeah. we, we're already we're already full on Halloween mode. Yes. Okay, so you bought some brought some great things, um, ways people can take stuff in their home and make it cool. Absolutely. Let's upcycle. And um, the thing with kids is that you don't want to spend a lot of money when you do decorating. And so we're going to talk about some just easy things that are already in your house. Um, ghosts are super popular and kids love ghosts. And this is just a ghost that's made out of white tissue paper. Um, and then either like a two liter bottle of pop or like say a mayonnaise jar or any sort of plastic jar that you have. And then it just has Christmas lights stuffed into it. And so it makes like a great little evening guy, um, especially, um, for your kids because they can do it. It's just Elmer's glue that's tacked onto it or you could even use glue sticks. Pretty safe to do and easier and cleaner than jack lanterns Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, here we, here we go. Tell, tell us about this. Okay, this is a milk jug um, that just has black Sharpie that you do the face on it. So a lot of families go through a lot of milk, um, some two to three gallons a week. And so this is a great way for outside instead of jack lanterns or even up your driveway. And inside is just a flameless candle. So it's little tea lights that you can buy for maybe a dollar. You already have a round. Don't use one with a fire. Bad with a milk jug. That makes a great little face. And I love that because you can line the walkway going to your door for the kiddos to come get yeah, their candy. candy. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is very cute. Let's do it. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're, you're Miss Crafty, aren't you? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I had to laugh because on my Facebook page last night, I'm like, what was I thinking doing a craft segment? And so that's it. This is not for Martha Stewart. This is for average moms who are just trying to do something with their kids. Which is most of us. Most yes. of us are not Martha Stewart. Okay, so show us how we can do it. Okay, so these are great little paper bag trees. And all it is is a standard paper bag that you have. And then you cut strips. And then all we're going to do is open her up. Cinch and twist. And kids can do this. Yes. And they're like, look at what I made. Right. And then just take um, a couple of the strips and just kind of sit there and kind of twist them until you kind of shape it into the shapes that we have going on here. Um, you can either do, this one's kind of like I say, the abstract tree, the kind of funky tree. And then, um, or you can take just tear inch strips of paper, again with glue stick, and put it on so you have color. You can also do that for spring too, which is nice. So you can do green leaves later on in spring if you wanted to. But it's super easy. Perfect. And all, as always, uh, using nature yes. as our centerpieces is fantastic. Absolutely. I love pumpkins. Um, I love pumpkins just in general because they go from October to November. And if you're like me, having the um, Halloween decorations for two months instead of one is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing is just go out in nature. There's so many beautiful red leaves that are going on right now. We have twigs. We have berries that are coming out. Um, I love putting them in any sort of vase or glass jar. It just kind of sets it off. And again, really cheap, inexpensively, something your kids can do too. Okay, fantastic, Kelly. You're awesome. Thank we you love guys. having you on the show. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thanks, guys. And great advice.